Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Michael Belser. If you don't know, I make YouTube videos about everything and anything about my life and the vlog style. So yeah, uh, today's the first Saturday in a long time that I have had off. And I know it's been a long time since I posted. It's just been crazy, obviously. Like you guys know, I coach and that takes a lot of part of my day. And that takes a lot of just my time in general. So like getting everything situated, and just time managing everything with my family, work, and coaching, and everything like that. Uh, vlogging right now until the summer uh, will probably have to be at the very bottom, and I'm still gonna try to continue to put videos up every single week, but uh, no promises until the summer because the summer I have off, and I cannot wait because I can make more videos every single week. But yeah, today's Saturday, you're gonna go with me and my daughters throughout the whole day and just kinda go with us as well. So the first thing we need to do is eat breakfast, so let's go eat breakfast. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking now. I'm just gonna do a simple breakfast, because if you guys follow me on my Instagram, or my Snapchat, or any of my social media, you kinda know that I'm gonna start training again training again uh, for my full marathon in November. That's like the closest one, so there's none that's before that here in Arizona, it's just the first one that popped up, it's gonna be in Tucson. But today's breakfast slash brunch is just gonna be a couple of bell peppers, mushrooms, some ham, onions and garlic, and some carrots sauteed over some rice. The rice is there because my daughters like eating rice. They don't typically like eating this stuff. This stuff's mainly for myself. My daughters will eat rice and eggs and all that kind of stuff as well, and fruit. So yeah, I'm gonna get done cooking, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fix Nia's hair and Zoe's hair as well. So let me get done cooking, and then I'll show you their hair. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You like it? Poor Phoebe. It must be a trick. What are you guys watching? Kids, um, what do you think you should do? This is for um kids so you learn about being nice and eat vegetables and healthy food. So I don't eat junk food. Alright guys, so we just got done eating and one of the things that I had to learn how to do with having two daughters is learning how to braid hair. I'm gonna go ahead and braid Nia's hair right now. I'm not gonna braid Zoe's hair because she's just not in the mood for it today, so I'll probably put hers in a ponytail, finish it off with like a fish braid or something like that. Uh, but one of the things that I, Nia likes to do is having her hair braided, so that is one skill that I've learned. I'm not the greatest at it, but I do learn on a daily basis. I'm trying to learn, I try to learn new braids and stuff like that as well. And so far, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one that she likes. We just learned this one as well. And the first thing I needed to do was actually just go ahead and put her hair in two sections. Uh, it doesn't have to be even, obviously. Uh, the line, probably, is you want to have as straight as possible, but I have it in two sections, probably about two-thirds of her hairs on this side and a third on this side as well. Uh, one of the things that I like to use is this detangleizer right here. It's the Seuss Kids. Honestly, I just look for Dory and Finding Nemo. <laughs> also, the good thing about this specific brand that I found out was that it doesn't leave any kind of film or anything in her hair, or not just her hair, but Zoe's hair as well. And it does its job, obviously it detangleizes it, but a lot of the other detangleizers, detangleizers that we used in the past, it left some sort of film in their hair, and I didn't like that, and it, was, it just looked weird and stuff like that as well. So we use this specific one as well, and a brush as well. She's playing, uh, what are you playing? Mario. She's playing Mario Kart right now, she's in, Fourth, third, fourth, third, fifth, somewhere around there. I'm gonna go ahead and braid her hair right now. I'll show you uh, what it looks like at the end. You like your hair? Yes. Let's go ahead and look at it real fast. As you guys can see, it's just a simple, I guess French braid, I don't know what that's called actually. Uh, two thirds of her hair is braided. Then the other third is just pulled back. And then that ponytail wraps around her back braid as well. One more time. But yeah, that's it. Let's see your hair. 
Nice ponytail? Yep. Let's see, turn around. Let's see your ponytail. Right there. Don't move. All right, guys, so we just got done. There's Zoe, there's Nia. We're gonna walk to my work real fast so that I can fix a bulletin that I need to update. It's been a while since I updated my bulletin, so I'm gonna update that as well as we get there. So far, so far, a good day. What do you think? Good. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You ready to go to my work? Yes. What about you? <laughs> What's in your hand? <laughs> She has oranges and Kit Kat. Let's go to my work. Zoe, hmm? what do you have in your hand? Oh, Kit Kat, can I jump? No! 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 And I am not eating mine yet. Vegetables are very really healthy, not junk food. And Zoe just in her orange right now. Say hi. Hi. And let me see her. And her hair is braided. Alright guys, so I'm here at my work. I'm in the teacher's lounge. I'm gonna get some butcher paper so I can go ahead and put on my bulletin outside of my room. I chose the color orange because it's eye popping and Really, it's just a different color than all the other teachers down the hall. So I'm gonna get this butcher paper, put it up there, and we'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, guys, so we didn't finish the bulletin just outside my room. I'll show you in just a bit. My daughters got really restless, and they got tired of just being here, so we're gonna take off. We're gonna go back home, get something to eat, maybe go to the store or something like that as well. Uh, but this is how it looks. It's orange with some silver bulletin. I don't know what those are called. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. We just got home. We're going to go ahead and eat. We just had sandwiches for today's lunch. Um, I know it was a short video, but like I said, I've been super busy and I'll be super busy until the end of baseball season, which will be at the end of April. And then I'll have a lot more time on my hands to make videos consistently. But the way I'm gonna end this video is two ways. The first thing is leave a comment below letting me know how you spend your Saturdays because this is the first Saturday in a long time that I actually had free. Second way I'm gonna end this differently is one of our fellow YouTubers that is Native American, Michael Begay, has something important to share with you guys. So I'm gonna leave a clip right here, but I'm also gonna leave everything that he has on his social media and his YouTube down below. So give a listen to him and then find all the information on his YouTube channel as well. But here it is. Calling out all indigenous native who are in college and who will love to go to Sydney, Australia. Listen up, this is your chance. We are trying to give back and try to give you guys the experience. You know, we're at AHAC going out there, talking to all the colleges, all the TCU that were there. But for all you guys who didn't go to AHAC and follow me on this vlog, or if you guys know a, a, someone who is in college, indigenous, you know, tag them this video because we are trying to get 200 indigenous natives to fill up a plane for February 2020 to go to Sydney, Australia to Give them the experience that me and Juliana, Juliana and I experience, you know. Thank you guys for watching. Hit like and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff that we ask you to do. We'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, so we just got done eating. I'm going to go ahead and fix Zoe. Blah, not, you're not Zoe. Who are you? Yeah.